This is Five Minutes with First, a chance for the pastors, staff, and leadership of the First Presbyterian Church in Lakeland to share the most important events and programs happening this week. Okay, everybody, I'm here with uh, Pastor John. Pastor Kenny's getting ready for our 3G Men's Weekend, but we're talking uh, big events that are happening over the next several weeks. And John, why don't you let us know about a couple things that are happening really the next 10 days? Yeah, well, let's start off uh, first things first. Uh, this Sunday uh, after church, the we have the Crop Walk. Um, it's funny because I'm still learning all these events around around <laughs> yeah. town. So, I'm, so, uh, so the crop walk is a uh, a walk that originates out in front of our church at 1 p.m. and it raises money for local food banks as well as food banks beyond this community throughout yep. the world and all. And uh, so, you are invited to come out and be a part of that. You are if you can't be a part of that, but you want to support it, uh, especially if you want to support it and in, in financially, uh, by all means, you are welcome to do that. We invite you to do that. It goes to a good cause, and you can do that. You can participate by emailing our missions coordinator, Nancy Bertram, and her email is nancy at fpclakeland.org. That's Crop Walk this Sunday. Yep, excellent. And then the next thing that's coming up is uh, on uh, Ash Wednesday. So it's a week from today, February 26th. Uh, we have two Ash Wednesday services, one at uh, 12.15. It's from 12.15 to 12.45. The intent there is mm-hmm. that you can come during your lunch hour and have time to travel, go to the service, and get back to your work in the hour. Uh, we have one at 12.15 to 12.45, and the other one is uh, from 6 p.m. till 7 p.m. That one's in the sanctuary. The one in the yeah. midday is in the, uh, is in the chapel. A lot of people have asked me through the years, because I've done a number of Ash Wednesday services yeah. through the years, and they're always like, what in the world is that? Did we just become Roman Catholics? Yeah, uh, it definitely And the answer like is, that. no, Roman <laughs> Catholics don't have the corner of the market in this, and actually it began yeah. before there was that whole Catholic-Protestant split. It's been around for a long, long time. It's really because it begins this journey toward Easter that we call Lent. Mm-hmm. The Lenten journey begins. It begins on Ash Wednesday. It's a great day for us to really to come humbly recognizing our own frailty, our own mortality yeah. uh, before the Holy God who loves us and embraces us in Christ. And we symbolize, we talk about that, and we, we even symbolize that with the marking of the cross on the foreheads. So we yeah. call that the imposition of the ashes. And it's, it's actually ashes. We actually use ashes and a mixture of ashes and oil. Palm so. branch ashes yeah. as yeah. well. I've had yeah. some nervous people. We yeah. had, no, no, we no, had, it's not charcoal. <laughs> it's not charcoal. It's not charcoal. No. It's not, you know, we, we, have, we had a place we scattered uh, ashes for funerals. It's, yeah, it's, not, it's any, not that. <laughs> it's not that. No, no, no. It is is actually palm uh, palm branch ashes that are sca- the mark of the cross on the forehead, yeah. and it's a pretty solemn, uh, very solemn. It is solemn, yeah. and it's but it's deep, and it's 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 important. And people have really enjoyed over the years being able to have that visible sign on yeah. there carried on their body, much like people have with tattoos these days. Yeah, uh, just a visible sign on the body of this humble human frail and yet beloved and 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 redeemed by Christ a sign in the form of the cross uh, either at work during the day or throughout their day if they come midday or throughout the rest of the evening yeah. that's ash wednesday absolutely and a couple of other things that we've got going on i'll mention march 1st that's a sunday after church after our 10:30 services we're going to have a reception for a couple of our missionaries uh, their names are Phil and Sharla and uh, they are missionaries in central asia we don't want to give you the country online because of security, potential security issues with them. But they're going to be in all of our services, and they're also going to have a reception to follow the service at 1030. Uh, The reception will be about 1145 in room A here, so you can hear about what God is doing in their work in Central Asia. And then the following Sunday, March 8th at 6 p.m., in Loudon Hall is our annual strawberry smash. And I still don't know <laughs> <laughs> so the what stra- a strawberry smash is. So the strawberry smash, just in a nutshell, is basically like a youth talent competition. Not a competition. It's just a youth talent show. So uh-huh. you'll have, I've seen every uh, everything from uh, youth playing saxophone uh-huh. to interpretive dance. Uh, one year we had a youth that did a karate demonstration. Uh, but they sell tickets and they also have strawberry shortcake. 
cake thus the strawberry smash and somebody does get smashed in the face with uh, some strawberries and all the proceeds go to benefit our youth fine arts program and their trip to Montreat, North Carolina they take an annual trip to Montreat, provide scholarship monies for them as well it's just a fun time as well too so uh, your first year you'll You'll be there, and uh, it'll be a well, lot of listen, fun, John. It, it's your birthday, Zach, and I consider you to be young, <laughs> and uh, and so I want to see you up there, your young person doing an interpretive dance no, as no, well. No, so no, yeah. Yeah, you yeah, can youth, have strawberry shortcake afterwards. Youth and young adults is <laughs> a little bit different. Uh, but anyway, it'll be fun. That's Again, that's March the 8th at 6 p.m. in Loudon Hall. And uh, again, lots of other stuff happening at the church. These are the big ones that we want to let you know about right now. If you have questions about any of these events or any of the other events, check us out at fbclakeland.org. Be sure to subscribe to our e-newsletter as we highlight uh, different events throughout the, the uh, on Friday in that newsletter. And then also uh, check, uh, check out our Facebook page as well because we do a lot more with the events there too. Thanks a lot, John. Good to be here. See you, everybody.